Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DFS experience for Wednesday, March 30th. We have an 11-game slate. Now we're at the end of the season, the regular season. A lot of players aren't going to play. A lot of players are going to be rested. I'm not going to waste time on players that are not significant. It's an 11-game slate. I'm going to try to breeze through this as quickly, as efficiently as I can. So um, work with me. And if a player says questionable, I'm going to count them in on, unless if they don't, if they say questionable, they're in until um, proved otherwise. Um, that way, if for some reason someone is questionable and, and then they play, then at least I went over it. So uh, a wise man once told me it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So I'm going to go over everyone that's not out as far as if they're in play. If they're not in play, I'm not going to mention them. So, <clears throat> we're going to start with DraftKings. We're going to start with point guard Luka Magic. Of, of course, he's in play 12K. He's absolutely fine. Mari 11 2 in play. Trey Young, Garland, um, right where they need to be salary wise. Uh, great matchup for Trey Young against OKC, which is a shell of a team, but, you know. It's a great matchup, but they could get ahead by too many points and rest Trey Young in the fourth quarter. So anything can happen, so just be careful. Halliburton to 9-7, kind of pricey on DraftKings, but um, he is capable of paying that off. Uh, Booker looks good against Golden State. Golden State's not looking too bright right now. Booker is taking another step, just like Tatum, as far as an elite. Um, stratosphere as far as being in the NBA so Booker at 9-5 might as well enjoy it now because next season he's probably going to be 10k we'll see the metal balls in play McCollum's in play Van Fleet Poole Barrett Paul all in play Mitchell's in Davion Mitchell's in play good matchup for him um okay Brogdon they're resting every day he more than likely he will not play so, but if he does play, as a matter of fact, I'm, he's out my player pool, so it doesn't matter. Brogdon is not in my player pool. Rosier is in play. Brandon Williams is in play. He looks pricey, but Portland really has no one playing, so he's not as bad as he looks. Port is in play. Hero Cole Anthony is in play. D'Angelo Russell, I don't believe, has been here value lately. Let me just triple check. 32, 19, 33, 17, so he's okay. Nothing to, you know, nothing to jump up and down about, but he's okay. That's why his price has been fluctuating. Um, Jalen Green, um, he's in play. He's going to get to do whatever he wants to do towards the end of the season. Houston isn't starting um, Gordon or Wood anyone like that. So Jalen Green's going to be able to do whatever he wants. Marcus Smart is priced a little bit too high for my blood. Lowry is an okay play. Brunson is fine. Burks is good. Then would be fine. Derek White off the bench. If if um if he's coming off the bench, I'm good on that 6K price. Levert starting full minutes, he's in play. Graham, if he starts, he's in play. No campaign for me. Maladon, if he starts, he's in play. Tyus Jones is in play. Aladipo, not for me. Just double checking, yeah. Melton's in play. Quickly's in play. Beverly's in play. Bones Highland. Monte Morris is in play. Chris Dunn if he starts. And then probably that's it. Sadaransky for value. Um, Vic Krishki. He might start. He started the other game. He did absolutely nothing. So, um, I think that's about it. Everybody else I don't play. Primo. If Primo started for some reason. Primo's done nothing, so yeah. 
That's it for point guard, shooting guard. Clay Thompson, I'm good on Clay Thompson at 8,500. I don't believe in him like that. Jalen Brown, he's probable, so. Um, I probably prefer him not to play, so then you get some value out of Smart and White, but right now he's probable. If he plays, then Smart and White are not in play for me. If he's out, then I take Smart since he's starting. Bane's in play. Buddy Hill's in play. Anthony Edwards hasn't been really, he hasn't been extravagant either. Well, the last game he had 41. Game before that, 26. Game before that, 31. Game before that, 32. Like, you can't be paying 7,300 for somebody and they're giving you 31 fantasy points. That's not going to get it done. So, the thing is, the thing is with Minnesota is that they're becoming a good team and everybody's contributing. And when everybody contributes, you're not going to get, you're not going to be able to pay off value for 7,300 and 60 something hundred and then cat at 9,300. Everybody can't pay off their ticket for Minnesota. That's the problem. So they're going to become unplayable very soon. Ingram's in play. Brooks is in play. Trey Mann, if he starts, is in play. Gary Trent is in play. Barton is in play. He's been playing better. OG at 57 is in play. Vassal, KCP, Herder is a little pricey, but he's in play. Um, DiPacenzo is okay, but I guess against Houston, you can play him. Um, he's getting the minutes. DiPacenzo is in play. What does in play mean? Just for the new people that are here, in play means that there is a probability of them paying off their um, salary. So I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. Cause like I said, you know, sometimes I get comments that don't make any sense to me, and then I got to go ahead and you know feature endeavor they ask. So um, when I say they're in play, that doesn't mean that I'm playing everybody. That means that there's a probability that they could pay off their salary. That's how DFS works. So. Um, I don't really like LB like that. That's me personally. Uh, no Richardson for me. He's priced up. 33 minutes, 27 minutes, 24 minutes. I guess he's getting the minutes. He's getting the minutes. 4,900. If you if you if you if you have one spot left at guard. And you have $4,900 left. I guess you could take a shot. I mean, you got Highland, Fournier, Keon Johnson, I guess. Aaron Wiggins, if he starts, is okay for value. Um, Macklemore is all right for value. Okoro is supposed to be all right for value, but he sucks. He's just good for minutes. Kispert plays minutes, doesn't do anything. So... As far as shooting guard, um, that's where it stops for me. Jalen Noel. 27 minutes last game. 21 fantasy points. That's not going to get it done. In today's in today's NBA DFS climate, 21 fantasy points is not going to get it done. So got to really do your homework while picking your fantasy teams. Um... If Tatum plays, he's in play. Let's, let, let me double check. Um, what does it say? He's probable also. Just wanted to make sure. So he's probable. Him and, him and Brown are probable. So, we, you know, this slate depends on what happens with them. They're the two stars. They're probably the best team in the East right now. They're the first and second best players on their team. So whatever happens with them is going to dictate the rest of this 11-game slate. Butler's in play, Barrett, Barnes, Bridges are in play. Andrew Wiggins, not for me. Povachevsky is a little bit pricey for me. Bogdanovich, Bogdanovich, Bogdanovich is decent. Markinen's in play. 
he's pricey too, but you gotta play somebody. You gotta play somebody. He's getting the minutes, he's getting the shots. He doesn't get blocks and steals like that, but you're looking for a high scoring game out of him. That's what you're looking for. Mikhail Bridges is in play, Harrison Barnes is in play, Franz Wagner's in play. Um Herbert Jones is in, in play. Okiki, I prefer Okiki to start for some reason. DeAndre Hunter, if he plays, is in play. Um, this is Justin Anderson. He's been in minutes last two weeks. He's getting a lot of minutes, so he's in play because of that. You know, everybody's not necessarily a good play, but they're in play because they, they, there's the potential to the probability for them to pay off their, their ticket. So I just want to keep stressing that because um, Grant Williams is priced up. Both, if both Tatum and Brown are out, then Grant Williams becomes viable. For me, he doesn't take enough shots, but if both of them out, then he have no choice but to take these shots. He's going to play the minutes. He gets stocks. He gets rebounds. So Grant Williams for value is um, going to be a thing on this slate. Um, Finney Smith is in play. I don't really like Jay Crowder. Bullock is in play. He's not a great fantasy producer, but... Um, I mentioned Sadoransky. I think that's about it. Let's go to power forward. Siakam's in play after his 40 point game. Randall's a little pricey, but Charlotte lets people run wild on. After the Lakers, Charlotte's the next team that I like to, to um, target. And not only that, they score also, so it's run and gun. You know, say back and forth. It's not like the Lakers. The Lakers just, you know, they let you they let you score on them. They don't score in return. The game's a blowout. The stars the stars get benched. However, with Charlotte, they they let you score and they score back. So that keeps the game close. So that's a game stacking environment. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Randall's in play. Porzingis is in play. Jaron Jackson Jr. is questionable. So he might he most likely might play. He's a little pricey for me, but it is the Spurs. Um I'll see if I can get someone better at that position personally, but he's you know, he's a thing. Kevin loves in play. Sangoon, Kelvin Johnson. Are in play. Isaiah Roby's in play, but he doesn't have back to back good games. Consistent. 39 12, 44 28, 55. Tomorrow's going to be 13. But what can you do? He's a thing. He's a he's a 6,200 starting center for Oklahoma. You can't ignore that. Jalen Smith, I prefer him to start. Indiana's really thin. Aaron Gordon's in play. Sets in play, Horford's in play, depending on if Tatum and Brown are both out. If Tatum is out, I like um, Horford a little bit better. But Horford's in play anyway because there's no Bobby Williams. Jerry Mon Green is trash without Curry. I kept saying it, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. This 26 point, this 26 point fantasy game is because of three seals, nothing else. He doesn't shoot. He doesn't get any blocks. He's getting he's a power forward, he's getting five rebounds. And he's only gonna get assists with Kyrie. So you know, him and him and Clay are pretty much washed. More him than Clay, but Clay's gonna be, be washed in the season in about a season. He's gonna always be able to shoot, but not the same thing. Um Trey Lyles is, is in play. Pay attention to Indiana. You're going to get a lot of value from your forwards. Isaiah Jackson still had a headache. I, I'm not making this up. Colin Ivory's not in play for me, but he is a play, but not for me. 
5600 I'll need him to start Cam Johnson is 5500 I'm good on him with the team being healthy PJ Washington's in play starting Kaminga had one good game but he's probably going back to the bench I don't really like Kaminga when everyone's healthy Jackson Hayes is a play I don't like Obi Toppin with Julius Randle back Hachimura is god awful um, Tate, you want to you want to play Tate? He's gonna start, and it's probably gonna be more. It's 28 minutes. You can play. If you want to look at him for value, you can. Mo Wagner for value. Terry Taylor for value. Vanderbilt for value. Brandon Clark for value. I'll be hearing, matter of fact, I'm not going to say anything. That's about it. I'll stop at Brandon Clark. Not even Maxi Kleber. I'll stop at Brandon Clark. Let's continue. Center. Of course, Jokic. Cat. Bam. Valanciunas. If he plays, let's see what's wrong with Valanciunas. Questionable, so he may play. Um, you bet 8100. What? What? He had a 41 60 point game because he played OKC. Of course, you're gonna have a 60 point game, shoot 12 from 14, grab 14 rebounds. Shit, if I played OKC, I'd have 27 points and 14 rebounds. So on DraftKings, Eubanks is unplayable. He's never going to pay up 8100 Who are they playing? The Pelicans? I mean, he'll have a good game, but he's not going to be. He need four, you need 49 fantasy points to play this off. So, if you want to play Eubanks, listen, good luck to you. May the power be with you. Pertle's in play. Aiton's in play. Capella's in play. Steven Adams is in play. Mo Bamba's in play. Al Horford's in play. Mitch Robinson's in play. Damian Jones is in play. Daniel Thice is in play. The price came up real quick. And um that's about it. If you want to really be cute, you're playing a hundred lineups, you could throw in cousins in one lineup. At least you know he's gonna be aggressive. So let's get five guys and let's keep let's get Once again, we're coming to the end of the NBA season. If you're new here, we're gonna we're gonna be on baseball just like this. So don't go nowhere, and make sure you're subscribed and uh, locked in. All right. So Indiana gives up a lot of points. I think I'm gonna have to go Jokic. I'm gonna have to go Jokic. And do I go back to Roby? Wait, he basically is hurt. Al Horford. Gordon stood out to me. He's been playing better. Shooting guard. Gary Trent is 59. That's great. Will Barton even looks alright. Um, OG against Minnesota. I think I like that. OG. And point guard. Jalen Green caught my eye. Um, Levert with no with no limits, no minutes limit it should be should be all right. Four for 15, 33. This is what I'm looking for. 33 minutes, 15 shots. 
this is what I'm talking about. Levert. Levert might be my thumbnail. Now we're talking. Levert, OG, Aaron Gordon, Al Horford, Jokic. I absolutely love these guys for um, tonight's slate. Let's jump to FanDuel. Once again, uh, if you're new, subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up. We're at the end of the NBA season. We're at the end of the month. Um, my Patreon, we're gonna we're gonna get going first of the month, but we're gonna include baseball. So I gotta get in there, uh, fix some things up. But um, next month's Patreon, the bronze package will will contain um, the rest of the NBA season plus MLB, and that goes for everybody. So. Once April comes, we're going to be cooking. I know we, there's a lot of baseball, a lot of baseball people ready to um, go crazy. Because I know when I started, it was baseball season, and y'all guys were amazing. So we're going to get there. So let's start with, let's, let's, let's do FanDuel. Let's start with point guard. Let's finish this video up. Luca, Luca 10 4. Absolutely fine. Trey Young looks great. Garland. Romello. Paul. Poole, Halliburton looks amazing, Brandon Williams looks good, Van Fleet, Porter, Mitchell, no Brogdon for us, Rozier, smart if he's smart if, if the big two are out, Alec Burks is in play, Jalen Green, Brunson, Maladon, Lowry, Anthony, Dinwiddie, White if both the big two are out for Boston. Melton, Jones are in play. Don't like pain so much. Russell is in play at 5,500. I never really played Alvarado on a night where he did something for me. So I'm kind of... He had a 36-point game and a 42-point game. Um, Alvarado's in play. Pitcher's in play, depending on what happens with Boston. So once again, pay attention to Boston starting lineup. Pay attention to their injury report, and that's going to make or break this slate. The slate going to change if, if if Brown and Tatum do, does not play, one of them don't play. This slate changes. So keep that in mind. Quickly in play, Highland, Beverly, Graham. Chris Dunn, Monte Mars, all in play. If Smith is in play, and that's about it. Booker is in play. McCollum, Butler, Butler looks great at 79. RJ Barrett looks great at 77. Desmond Bain looks good at 76. Halliburton looks amazing at 76. Clay Thompson looks respectable at 75. Rozier, we spoke about him. He looks good. Anthony Edwards looks okay. Hero looks okay. Cole Anthony at 6K is fine. Dylan Brooks, Wagner, all fine. Barton looks fine. Justin Anderson at 55. As long as he starts, he's good. Gary Trent looks great. Herder looks okay. DiVincenzo is okay for value. Vassal, okay. Levert. Levert's going to be my um, thumbnail. 5,200. He's amazing. KCP looks great. P Peyton Pritchard. We spoke about him already. Reggie Bullock. Value. If you're desperate. Him and Josh Richardson if you're desperate. Um, Wiggins looks good for value. He starts... That's about it. Terry Taylor, he starts. I want any of any of the Indiana starters because they're thin. Small forward. Ingram. Bridges are in play. Kelvin Johnson looks good at 73. Scotty Barnes at 7K. Play maybe two two Raptors. Pick any two you like. Play them. Hope they go off. That's the rule. Um, Buddy Hill, I think we mentioned him. Mikael Bridges, okay play. Brissette, Brissette looks good. Brissette. Um, Markinen 
is found at 59. Wagner spoke about him. OG. I like OG here too at 58. Harrison Barnes looks good. Andrew Wiggins is a decent price, but I don't have any faith in him. But he, you could play him. Otto Porter doesn't play enough minutes. If he starts, he's viable. Kaminga, I'm going to need him to start at 4,700 because Curry playing with his minutes. DFS, Dorian Finney-Smith, 4,400. He's all right. Fournier, if you're desperate, Kispert, if you're desperate, CJ Ellaby, if he starts and you're desperate, Hachimura, if you're desperate, last man in, I'd rather play Jay Shantae at 4,100. And that's all that, that's all I see right now. Anything else, I'll be making it up. Let's go to power forward. Siakam, Porzingis, Randall, Adebayo, Eubanks is 7,500. That's a little bit better, but there's better options. Um, Roby, 7K, kind of pricey, but he's a thing. Jaron Jackson, if he plays, he's in play. Povacheski, if he starts, he's in play. Al Horford looks great, regardless of who plays. Aaron Gordon looks good. Markkinen looks all right. Jalen Smith looks good. Trey Lyles looks good. Kevin Love looks fine. Grant Williams at 5,300. I'm going to need both. Brown and Tatum to be out. Dice looks... Dice is priced up. You still need about 30 fantasy points. If he's starting, he's in play. 5K, 5 times value is 25 fantasy points, 6 times value is 30 fantasy points. That's how I look at it. Um, PJ Washington's in play. No dream off for me, even though he's cheap. Jackson Hayes, Brandon Clark, Mo Wagner. That's your value as of right now. Jason Tate, Vanderbilt. All in play. And for center, Jokic, Cat, Valanciunas if he plays, Pirtle, Eight and it's fine. Steven Adams looks good. Capella, Sengun, Bamba, Goga, Mitch Robinson, Damian Jones, all in play. And DeMarcus Cousins in 1% of your lineups. So with that being said, um, Goga is really, Goga is dirt cheap. If he plays, um, man, Let's do Steve Adams. I still like Horford. Offer I like Barrett. Barrett's aggressive. Levert. You're gonna be able to play whoever you want in, on this on this slate because of the value. And then I'll probably go Murray. You could do Murray, you could do Trey Young, Garland, 9200. I'll stay loyal to Garland. So you got Garland, Levert, Barrett, Horford, Steven Adams. You could probably even play Jokic. But these are just five guys that I like for their price points. So that's the end of this video. I'll be back shortly with the Yahoo video. Hope you guys had a great night. Um, and I'll see you guys shortly. Talk to you later. Ciao.